Good day and welcome to our short explanation of how to edit a uh, PPAM file. So uh, let's uh, give you an example of what that is. Uh, in this case, I have a, uh, a PowerPoint macro, cleverly known as a PPAM, which is a compiled version of a PPTM. Now, uh, the short version of this goes that you can't uh, modify this. Well, you can modify it, but it won't save it. But you can copy the contents into a new macro. And that's what we're going to show you how to do. So right now, if I double click on this PPAM file, it's going to ask me if I want to enable macros. I'm going to say yes, because I, this is mine. I know what it is. There we go. And now under add-ins, I have this lovely little uh, custom toolbar that I've built, but I really can't do much with it. So I can't get in and I, I can't edit this in any meaningful way. So how do you go about doing that? Well, let's show you. The first thing you need to do is go modify your registry. Uh, so let's do that. And you want to go to H key current user, software, Microsoft, Office. In case you're wondering how I'm moving through this quickly, I'm doing it just by starting to type the letters. And then go to the most current build, well, the build that you're actually using, which in my case is Office, uh, well, it'd be the equivalent of Office 2019, which is, uh, but it's actually Office 365 Pro Plus. And the registry entry for that is 16. Yes, they stopped changing the numbers because they don't need to anymore. We're going to leave that alone. That's a separate issue. Anyway, they can drill into PowerPoint and then drill into options and right click and create a new 32-bit D word. And the value for that D word is debug add-ins. You need to change that to one. Now, an important note is before you make this change, you need to make sure that PowerPoint is closed. If PowerPoint is not closed, it will reset this back to zero. So. Um, in which case, you just close PowerPoint, go to the registry, and change it back to one. So now you can just double click on your PPAM file, enable the macros, go to add ins, and you see it here, but that still doesn't get you very far, does it? Nope, you still got one more thing to do. What you need to do is right click on the ribbon, select customize the ribbon, scroll down to near the bottom here, and select developer, and select OK. And now developer is there that the editing tools are grayed out. And that's because you need to add the add-ins in a different way. So watch this. If I close this PowerPoint and I open up PowerPoint from scratch so I don't double click on the PPAM file, that add-in is not there. So what you need to do is click on File, Options, Add-ins, PowerPoint, change the Manage to PowerPoint add-ins, click Go, select Add New, and then you can find your add-in. The add-in, the default location for it is in this add-ins folder. I'm going to select desktop here and PPAM. I'm going to enable the macro and close. And now when I close Outlook or PowerPoint, when I go back to PowerPoint, my add-in is there. Isn't that nice? And I can go to developer and this is not grayed out. So I can click view code and it will open up the Visual Basic IDE, a developer tool if you're not familiar with that term. Uh, I could also, by the way, when you're talking to the people, I'll say just press Alt F11. Yeah, you can do that. It just does the same thing, okay? Uh, if you have multiple macros uh, enabled or multiple add-ins enabled, you may want to disable the other ones because it may get confused as to which one it has to work on. So uh, just take note of that. Now, um, you can see there is the PowerPoint, or sorry, there is the uh, code. Uh, I can go through this on the right side here and I can select the various buttons and so on and so forth. But if you notice, it's just scrolling up and down here. There's, this is really all in one for me. So I can simply take this code, copy it, just right click and copy it. I can go to really anything. I'll just use notepad and paste it in. And now I would be able to go to PowerPoint and I would be able to create a new macro and paste that code in. So let's do that. I'm going to uh, close this. There we go. I'm going to go to macros. I'm going to create a new one. Let's call it, it doesn't make any difference for the purpose of this. So I'm just going to call it test one. So you can see in here, there's nothing. I can go into this and I can paste this code in and then I can save it. And I want to save it as a PPTM. There it is. I'm going to call this PPTM. Uh, two. And now this can be edited to my heart's content. So PPTM, there we go. Uh, it doesn't make a difference what I call it really. 
and I can now go through, edit that code, and save it at will. If you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.